Hi, my name is Nicole and I'm a professional cornhole player. I've been in the cornhole world for about four years and this is my rookie year as a pro. Today we're going over how to prepare for a cornhole tournament. And before we dive in, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any more videos. I want to help prepare you for your first cornhole tournament so that you know what to expect. Okay, so first and foremost, what should you bring? You want to bring ACL approved cornhole bags. These are called BG Wizards. They have the ACL 2022-2023 stamp. You can go to bgcornhole.com to get your first set of bags so that you're prepared and ready to go at your first tournament. You wanna bring a chair. You also should bring snacks and water just in case. Okay, so what to expect. So if you're going to a local tournament, that is normally a blind draw. So that means you get a random partner. They're usually about 10 to $15 to play. Normally anybody can play in them. So any skill level from beginner to pro. Sometimes these type of tournaments are A and B, meaning an A player would get a B player. They normally advertise that before the tournament. If you're planning to go to a regional or a conference, this is bring your own partner, unless they have a blind draw too. So you wanna get a partner and you play in your skill level so if you're an intermediate player you'll play in the intermediate now if you play with an advanced player if you're an intermediate player you have to play in the advanced division you can always play up but you can't play down so once you're an advanced you can't play in competitive and you can't play in intermediate you'll have to play in advanced or the open division regionals and conferences offer doubles single line draws sometimes a crew cup which consists of four people on a team. These tournaments cost about $20 to $60 depending on the event. Now, if you're signing up for an open tournament, these are normally held at different states around the country. They do about 15 of these throughout the year. So at an open tournament, you're going to play a minimum of eight games. You're gonna play six rounders. Each round takes about an hour because you have to wait for every single person to be done playing within that round. Rounders puts you in a tier. Normally it's between one and four tiers, number one being the highest tier, number four being the lowest. Rounders will put you in whatever tier you're most likely supposed to be in. If you go six and zero, oh, meaning you win six games, then you'll be in tier one. If you go five and one, you'll be in tier one. If you go four and two, You'll either be in tier one or tier two, depending on your points. Point differential matters. If you wanna to try to get into a higher tier, make sure that if you lose a game, you're not losing too big. It's better to lose 21 to 18 versus 21 to two. The chances of you playing a pro team is super likely, but don't get discouraged. Because once you're in your tier, especially like tier three and tier four, you won't have to play those pro teams anymore. So after rounders, you get into a main bracket. The main bracket is double elimination, so if you lose twice, you're out of the tournament. That's why it's guaranteed eight games, because you have six games in rounders and a minimum of two games in the main bracket. It's a really long day. Sunday, they always have singles, so if you plan to stay for the weekend, you'll have doubles on Saturday and then singles on Sunday. Now, what do you do if you're done with the main bracket and you're not ready to go back to your hotel, you wanna hang out a little bit? Here's what you can do in the meantime. They'll run blind draws, they're called sit and goes. They're about 10 to $20, so you can still play if you wanna play. They also will have live stream games. They live stream on a main court that's always streamed on the American Cornhole League Facebook. So you can actually sit and watch those games going on. They don't normally have pro tournaments at open tournaments, but if there is a pro tournament the same weekend, you can always go watch the broadcast. That's where they play on ESPN and CBS Sports. Okay, so you're basically ready. You're prepared for the tournament now so where do you sign up you're gonna head to iplaycornhole.com you're gonna click the three bars in the top right corner and you're gonna scroll down to schedule when you click that you're gonna be directed to a page that lists all the tournaments there's pro nationals pro shootouts open events and international tournaments so if you click on open tournaments scroll down you'll see all the ones that are gonna be going on for the gear so you can plan for it and if you click event info it'll give you all the information where the venue is and hotels that are within distance of the venue. To find local and regional conferences, the first thing you're gonna do is go make a free account with the American Cornhole League. Once you sign up and make yourself a login, you'll log in and then you're gonna go down to events registration and then you'll find what kind of tournament that you're looking for. And by the way, this is also where you sign up for open 
tournaments as well. So you'll scroll down to a local event registration. This tells you all of the local events going on. Same thing with regionals and conferences. If you want to search within your area, you'll go back to the landing page when you log in to your ACL account and then you'll find ACL events at the top left. There you'll find a map that will show tournaments all around your area and they are labeled in red, black, yellow, and blue stating what kind of event it is and then when you click on it you can find all the information about it, who's running it, the date and time, location, and then you can click open dashboard and you can add your money to your ACL wallet and sign up. Then of course if you have any questions or you want more information you can always email the ACL and they will get back to you as soon as possible. They're very helpful. When you play in these tournaments for the first time, don't be discouraged. When you see the good players playing, remember that they all started somewhere too. They all started at the bottom. They weren't super good when they started playing. If you have questions or you're not sure about something when you're at the tournament, you can always go up to the director. They'll be happy to help you. Feel free to also ask people around you. Normally people in the cornhole community are very helpful and nice. Whether you want to play for fun or you want to become really competitive with it and play against the best players, there's a place for you. Thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful. Again, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any videos going forward. This coming weekend, I'll be playing at the Football Hall of Fame in Canton, Ohio for the last open of the season and the last pro shootout of the season. I'll see you in the next video. Yeah.